Let's take a look at the beast. Front nine, hole nine. Uh, no Mando on this hole and pretty straightforward. Although there are quite a number of early trees that you can hit if you're not careful. And there's really two fairways here. There's a fairway to the left that's more open, a little bit longer obviously with a forehand approach and then there's a fairway a little tighter more trees to the right uh, that you can use for a backhand approach I really like the the one on the left uh, it's still you know there's really no huge advantage to going to the to the right except you can't get an occasional lucky skip ace but uh, I always go to the left with the forehand but I'll show you the right. I take a musket, in my case, accurate windbreak. I slide over here to the left. Middle chevron about right here. And just try to get through this gap. That tree right there to the left is the one you don't want to hit. It's about 120 feet out. Uh, and you can get closer to the basket with that right side, too. I'll give you that. Um, but... Uh, I really like to take the sapphire uh, musket glide if you don't have the sapphire and just go forehand to this wide open gap here on the left. I think it just makes a lot more sense. Uh, there is that tree right there on the left I just passed you want to avoid, but uh, there's a lot less trees to hit on that left side obviously, so for my money that's the play. Uh, and this used to be a forehand with a musket, but this hole, like all the rest of them, got a little bit longer, so I had to disc up this year. Uh, that's a pretty nice shot. So, yeah, that's it uh, pretty much for that hole. Pretty straightforward again. Nothing much else to talk about. Hope you uh, enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And we'll see you around the valley.